Howdy. So, welcome to another video. I ain't posted in a while. I haven't posted consistent in a while. It's beside the point. I'm going fishing tomorrow, specifically for big old fat Sally River smallmouth. Smallmouth. Smallmouth from the river that are fat and big and they eat a lot and they're fun to catch because they fight hard. So, in the morning, I'm getting up extra early and doing that. Right now, I gotta go hook up a trailer, put the kayak on the trailer. So, let's go do that. Okay, so we just got the trailer backed up the driveway. I did it all by myself because I'm an independent man. And if you don't know, backing up a trailer can be difficult if you've never done it before. I'm inexperienced with it, but I did it. Took me a while because the dog kept on getting behind the trailer and I couldn't see him. I gotta load the kayak up now. We're gonna get ready. All right, guys, so we got the kayak loaded up. Got the little paddle right there. We got our baits, we got our rods, our reels, live jacket, a big boat seat that I put in the kayak. I think we're uh, ready to rock. What do you think, Hank? Hank? Come here. Come here. What's up, bud? Well, you know, bud. I think we are ready to rumble. It's so hot and humid outside. But. I'm gonna check the weather real quick. Tomorrow morning says sunrise is at 619. So I might get up at like 550-ish and leave the house. That way I can be fishing by like 620, 630. So I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. All right guys, so it is 554 and I'm about to pull out of the driveway. It's time to go and I'll see y'all when I get there. All right guys, what is going on? So I have made it to the river and I'm starting off with like a little shallow diving square bill. And if any of y'all are wondering where I'm fishing, it's this local river called Nunya Business. Just kidding, it's the Cumberland River. I'm in, I'm in Kentucky. We're gonna ease on down here. I'm gonna throw the square bill for about 10, 15 minutes. If I don't do any good on it, I'm gonna switch to a swim bait. A little Kitek on a jig head. Holy cow. I think that reel's done for, guys. Oh my word. Man, I was so afraid of that happening. Or, well, I wasn't too afraid because I just did it. Dang, dude. What it was, I leaned back to cast and I hooked my other rod. Honestly, I'm not sure how I did it because, dang, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. What? Dude. What in the world, bro? How did that just happen? Oh, I bet when I snap back to cast, it hit the rod. Well, guys, looks like I'm gonna be here for a while. Hey, I got me a little two-piece now. Dude, this absolutely blows. This is awful, dude. All right, guys, so this rod was not a two-piece this morning. Broke it. Okay, that means we can get a new rod now. In the meantime, we're gonna have to make do with what we got. See, as a professional bass fisherman, I don't give in to these little silly problems that I have. To be honest, we're gonna get this trip done and we're gonna catch some Mondo bass. I mean, some fat sallies. If y'all couldn't tell from the GoPro footage, I accidentally hit the rod behind me as I cast it and completely bird nested my reel. Therefore, I cannot, I can no longer cast it. Then, because I hit the rod behind me, I didn't realize that it had splintered it or cracked it or something. So when I cast it, it also cracked. So today's a great day. 
These are just silly little setbacks, man. I'm okay. I'm fine. I don't know about y'all. I'm chilling. I get to buy a new rod now. Here's the thing, though. There's a deer in the water over there. What the heck? Guys, look at this. There's a little buck in the water over there. Seen them do it in the river before, but I didn't think, like... I'd ever see it again. The little buck. Meh. Brother is swimming. We spooked off all the smallmouth for me now, so that's good. Yeah, today isn't looking as hot as I had hoped. Probably right at seven o'clock. I've got a long way before the day is over, so I'm gonna enjoy myself. And I'm gonna fish my little stinking butt off. Got me a little two-piece rod now. That's just part of it, bruh. It's that life. It's that river life, boy. Okay. So now, I believe this rod is good. I'm gonna make a test cast to make sure no more of my equipment fails me. I'm like extra scared now to cast. Biggin. Oh, it's not a biggin. It's actually a decent one. Oh, these river smallmouth fight so hard, dude. He's right here at the kayak. Oh, come here, you little booger. He's actually nowhere near the size I thought he was. He fought so hard, though. Thank you, little buddy. He's extra brown. As soon as it hit the water, he threw my kayak off. Thank you. This is actually the smallest one of all time. This is a very small one and I completely overreacted. I'm sorry for overreacting, guys. I thought that was like a two and a half, three pounder until he come out of the water. All right. Guys, I should, I've, I've got a lot of confidence right now. I feel like I should catch a nice one right here, but I might not. I've got to stay positive, but also have to stay realistic. Got him. Little bitty one. He smoked it though. See ya, buddy. Thank you. They want it going with the current, I'm pretty sure. That's what I've heard. That it's better, like, if the bait's also going the same direction as the current's flowing. I got one. It's a little one, I think. Watch it be the biggest of the day. <laughs> That's a little. God, it's a tiny one, dude. What's up with these little ones smoking it? That was like as it hit the water, too. I'm just gonna float down. I don't even care what, like, the angle I'm at. Nothing like that, dude. I'm just fishing. Just enjoying myself. That is the one thing. Got him. At the kayak. Dang, boy. It's number four. This spot is kind of juicy, guys. I'd say some of these fish, I'm, I might be missing some because my bait is a little bit bigger. But honestly, there's one. This one's little. Uh-oh. It might be the biggest of the day. I think he is bigger than that other one. Uh, maybe not. It's hard to say. He didn't even feel that big. Nice one. I think my GoPro turned off. Uh, but I, I got off the kayak. I don't know how much has... Oh, there's one. Oh, man, he got off. A little bit better one. No, it's not. I thought it was a good one, but it ain't. A little bitty. And I'm telling you, in this river, dude, they fight so hard.
No, I'm good. I'm going back. I got my kayak up here. Huh? You good? I think he thought that I was trying to, that I was leaving because he's coming up this way. But I'm not. I'll probably talk. To yeah. I'm going to talk to him. He seems like a nice fella. I'm actually going to talk to him and get some wisdom. How you doing? Pretty good. Caught many? Huh? Have you caught any? Small mouth? Yeah. Any good ones? Yeah. I've been fishing since about seven, uh, my kayaks up there. I went way up there and just floated down. Yeah. But, uh, I caught, I've caught seven, but nothing big, you know. Yeah. I, I caught a good nest there, and then I caught one down on that. Mm-hmm. Just a few minutes ago. But now, it's, it's slow today, but my last week, you made one of the Oh, really? All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. So I ended up with a total of seven smallmouth bass, nothing over like a pound, maybe a pound and a half, if I'm being generous. I ran into that old dude. He gave me some fishing tips, but I was already ready to go home. Maybe next time I go fishing, I'll use some of his tips and catch some big ones. But I'll see you on the next one. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Remember, Jesus loves you.